Today I messed up by forgetting I was already on mute. This just happened today. I was on a Zoom call with my class this morning. Now, I haven't been up this early in a while so I was really groggy. I put my camera off and muted myself because I really just wasn't asked to put up with it. Then it happened. I felt a gurgling in my stomach. Realized what needed to happen. I gotta break the wind. I had a plan, mute myself, release the toxic gas and unmute myself as if nothing happened. I clicked the mute button, let it rip and unmuted myself again as if nothing happened. There was an eerie silence in the Zoom call, then some people started giggling. I knew something was wrong, then I realized my issue and where I messed up. I was already on mute from when I joined the call. When I muted again, I had actually unmuted myself. I was so tired I just didn't think about it. Everyone heard me free the beast. Everyone. It was like I had done it in an actual class. I was mortified and immediately left and haven't joined back. I'm expecting an email from my teacher on the issue, but I'm not sure he really wants to. I'll update if he does. Everyone watched me, out of the blue, unmute myself, cut the cheese and then mute myself again. This is the worst thing to happen to me throughout lockdown. Too long. Didn't read, I was tired and needed to fart in a Zoom call. I unmuted myself thinking I had muted myself, and farted in front of my whole class. Today I messed up by setting my Wi-Fi hotspot to bomb detonator. Final update. First post https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash a subreddit slash comments slash 8 lmwjd slash today I messed up underscore by underscore setting underscore my underscore Wi-Fi underscore hotspot underscore to underscore bomb underscore detonator slash Second post https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash a subreddit slash comments slash 8 and 3 b 0 c slash today I messed up underscore by underscore setting underscore my underscore Wi-Fi underscore hotspot underscore 2 underscore bomb underscore detonator slash too long. Didn't read. Lost another job, moved to another state, still rebuilding my life. Mental health issues suck. Get diagnosed and get help. I have delayed posting a final update because I wanted to get to a point where there felt like an ending to the story. That keeps not being the case and I've received enough messages from people asking how I'm doing or how things played out so here it is. Thank you to everyone who reached out to me and asked how I was doing. I know some of you truly care and some of you just wanted the details on how things ended. I'm sure you'll understand why I didn't respond. Six months after losing the job in my previous posts I got another job. A month into my employment I grew confrontational with a security guard and lost that job too. I was then forced to work as a line cook at a local diner through the Thanksgiving and Christmas seasons. Without the financial support of someone I served in the military with the whole story would have ended in a divorce and or a suicide. Instead, my spouse and I sold our house and moved in with our new roommate in another state. I burned this account because my former co-workers discovered or were told about my posts. I did not say my goodbyes to most of my former co-workers or my friends. I completely ghosted one co-worker who wanted to have lunch. I felt like I was going into exile. I still feel like I did. Shortly after arriving here I finally had the breakdown that everyone saw coming and I had to turn myself into the emergency room for suicidal ideations. They sent me to a mental health care facility where I stayed for the next month. Then I went into a year of dialectical behavioral therapy with the local Veterans Affairs. What followed was a short period of working in a grocery store, some vocational rehabilitation from the VA and then a short term as a contractor for a local hospital. While I was working that job, my current job fell into my lap. It was an opportunity to take on more responsibility than I ever had but also a chance to redeem myself. I took it without hesitation. It has not been easy and I struggle with my responsibilities. This month will mark my one-year anniversary with my current employers. During this period there have been a lot of medication changes. There has been a six-month period where I didn't sleep properly or at all and almost lost my marriage again due to my behavior. I went back into a mental health care facility for a week. I'm currently dealing with physical health issues that take time to clear up and slow my mental health progress. Emotionally, I never fully recovered. I have panic attacks, insomnia, 
suicidal ideations, and need medication and constant therapy to keep moving forward. I call the Veterans Crisis Line regularly. Many people have wondered how I could do the things I did, how my life ended up like this. The truth is that I had untreated complex PTSD, untreated ADHD and undiagnosed borderline personality disorder. I was on a strong dose of an antipsychotic medication for insomnia. I was, literally, a ticking time bomb and I had been for years if not decades. Once I lost the first job, the pin was out of the grenade and I spiraled. When I lost the second job I spiraled even faster. It was only the impending sale of the house and the move that kept me together at all, and barely at that. We all have problems, some of us more so than others. If someone in your life expresses concern about your behavior or your worldviews, take that as an indicator that maybe something needs to be looked at. It's possible that there is something wrong that needs to be addressed. I didn't listen when people told me I was too angry. I didn't listen when people said they were afraid of me. How could they be? I still saw myself as the scrawny kid who got the shit kicked out of him in school. I was afraid of the world, how could they be afraid of me? I don't have a happy ending for you, as my life is still a struggle to keep my issues from being everyone else's problem. I am less prone to outbursts and I reel myself in quicker, but I'm not where I feel you need to be in order to be called a functioning adult in society. This isn't the end for me. I am still fighting to survive, but I am my own worst enemy and it will take years to get to a place where I feel like this saga is over and I've truly recovered.